All right, in this uh, short video, we're gonna discuss about performances. Um, if uh, Simplitude crashes, there's, there's a few things you might want to try. First, hit Y on the keyboard and go into performance and change the amount of CPU that Simplitude use. Uh, go to one, try again. If it is better, uh, then try halfway. So if uh, you have uh, 16, instance of CPU, try eight. And if it crashes again, check with your motherboard in the BIOS, maybe you can deactivate the hyper-threading. Samplitude is known to have some problems with uh, some motherboards uh, with hyper-threaded activated. So me, I'm gonna put it at 15. Of course, the software might have too many things to do. Uh, in real time. So what grabs a lot of resources is uh, every analog gear simulator like AmpSim or um, Poltec uh, stuff like that. And um, of course, VSTi, virtual instruments. Let's just record something and uh, see what we can do. So this is a test of Samplitude Pro X8. So you can see the resources at the bottom if I hit play. So this is a test of Samplitude Pro X8. So right now it's 14, 12% uh, to max. That's very low usage. Uh, but let's say we are at the maximum and it crashes. What you can do is either uh, freeze the object or freeze the track. So if you have many objects on the track and you want to do it at once, you can right click and freeze the track. What it will do is process every effect on the track or if you did put effects directly on the object. Of course, if you don't have anything on the objects, you, there's no need to freeze the object itself. Um, but some will use Melodyne or other plugins directly on the object, so that's a good thing to freeze it. Uh, as uh, well, if you change the pitch or the speed of an object, freezing is a good idea. So let's uh, try it, freeze the track. So it did a process the effects and create a wave file. So the processed wave file replaced the original object and then every plugin are deactivated. If I play again, so this is a test of Samplitude Pro X8. You see two, three, so that's very low usage. So if you unfreeze the track, then every settings and plugins will be back if you need to change something and then you can freeze it again if you want as well. Another thing that is very critical on resources is a virtual instrument, as I said earlier. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna load one. Grand piano. If you don't hear anything, check the monitoring settings. Um, you see I'm at no audio monitoring peaks only, so that's for audio inputs. So we're gonna go at the bottom, so it will process the effects and um, the plugin itself. So it, if I play, all right. So I'm gonna record random notes. Okay, you, so again, 12, 13. So it gives you an ID if we uh, freeze the track instead. Again, we play, I'm gonna close that down and we're gonna freeze this one too. So you see it's working less. So of course, right now uh, the computer does not work on many things, but if we have 30 tracks, it could be a lot busier. Uh, especially, as I said, if you uh, put some mastering effects on the master bus and um, analog simulating plugin. Anyway, 
leave some comments and questions if uh, you have any and of course click on many uh videos it's always helping the, the channel